Hello, this is Mike Berger again with NC Planning. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, bringing you another uh, weekly council, daily council. Um, this one's really more focused on the sort of business advisory service, a little bit on the consulting side, less on the legal side. Uh, wanted to talk to you today a little bit about what we're seeing currently uh, in the economy, particularly with numbers in the employment and HR space around uh, layoffs, uh, furloughs, and, and just separation with employees. Um, this is getting a lot of coverage in the media, having a lot of questions about it from small and mid-sized business owners about how does this impact me, uh, our company, our goals, our efforts moving forward. Um, number one, um, I think a lot of this is geared really towards the, the, the media machine uh, to get clicks. Uh, it's a hot topic around um, numbers of, of layoffs. Whenever you have large numbers like this, it draws attention to bylines. Um, so my first point would be um, don't get too concerned about it. Let's take it with a grain of salt. Let's look at it uh, from, a, from a different lens or a, a different perspective to understand uh, a little bit about where some of these layoffs are coming from and whether or not they are truly impactful uh, in, a, in an adverse or negative way to your business. Or um, perhaps there's another way to view this, that it could be an opportunity uh, for your business, for your company uh, to acquire some talent and help it grow. Um, so just some by way of some statistics, uh, what we're seeing really, number one, is the, the large concentration of layoffs in the technology or in the tech space. Um, there are now over 200,000 layoffs in the last year. Uh, Microsoft uh, just had a huge cut. Um, they had hired uh, 40,000 people between June 21 and June 22. Um, and so th this is sort of a reoccurring theme, uh, whether it's Microsoft or Google or Meta or Apple, um, basically the message here is that during COVID-19 or in sort of the wake of COVID-19, um, tech companies really had an influx of, of work. They had a need to uh, hire top talent um, or whatever talent they could get their hands on to try to meet that demand during the quote COVID boom. Um, and this led to a lot of hiring, um, a lot of development around um, different projects. I saw this not just in the tech space, but in one of the spaces I'm very interested in, near and dear to my heart, uh, music music industry, uh, and specifically music instrument space, guitar space. I believe Fender uh, recently let go of a number of employees. Uh, they had staffed up during uh, the sort of wake of COVID, the COVID boom. A lot of folks were home playing guitar. They couldn't keep up with ordering demand. And so this is a similar sort of footprint, you know, or um, blueprint in the tech space is that there was a lot of work to be done, um, a lot of opportunity there that tech companies saw to really say, let's let's take advantage, not necessarily in a bad way, but there's an uptick. So let's staff up, let's handle this. Um, and, and they hired. And now what we're seeing is some contraction from that. Uh, what were they hiring for? A variety of things from their ongoing operations to you know development of new things. Uh, for instance, you know how can we beef up the online conferencing, uh, Microsoft Teams, um, Google Google Meet, Zoom, all these things that are you know flooding the market. They needed people to help support that. Now some of that is contracting, or they've gotten their feet under them, and so uh, that's going that's going away, um, or at least the jobs for it are going away. Another area that really uh, is getting a little bit of press around it are uh, what are called moonshot ideas. So the way companies react to these type of things is not just in the here and the now with what we're facing, but also what are horizon items? What are some um, tangible objectives we can be reaching for in the next three years, five years? And maybe there's that sort of really, you know, super reach project that we were thinking about or toying about, or now it's maybe sort of the genesis of it is out of what we're facing in a post-COVID uh, post climate. Um, and they call these sort of moonshot ideas, right? These sort of large projects, very ambitious, let's staff up around it and we can afford to do that now because we're making more money over here. We've built out our team, we've scaled up, and now let's take some of that uh, revenue that we're generating or profit that we're generating and invest it in sort of a future moonshot idea, right? For Apple, that might look like the Apple car coming down the pike. 
Um, uh, in any event, it could be different for any company, but now as things are changing economically, uh, they have their feet under them with some of these other sort of immediate projects from COVID and the staff up that they, they had done during that time period, they're now curtailing that. Um, and now maybe some of that profit isn't there to also uh, take advantage of those moonshot projects. And so maybe some of that is getting curtailed as well. And I think that's really what we're seeing uh, with a lot of these massive layoffs. Uh, probably too soon to tell where this goes overall with the economy, but um, just some just some food for thought, a little different perspective on um, you know the impact of these layoffs, and maybe that it's not the doomsday scenario some of the media outlets and things are promoting. Um, what I would say to the business owner out there uh, is that consider that this could be an opportunity with these folks coming back into the workforce that could change the the labor layout or landscape as it exists right now could give you and your company an opportunity to maybe pick up some of that talent that was otherwise occupied at the large tech industries and it could be a benefit in the long run um, thank you as always for tuning in appreciate it please feel free to leave us some feedback some questions that that content uh or th those comments help drive content help us respond and know what you'd like to see more about in the future uh, if you haven't already, check out our YouTube channel and please give us a like at that bell notification uh, to subscribe. Um, really appreciate you tuning in. We'll see you again soon. Thank you so much.